Peppa Pig and the Library Visit. Is that where we got this book? Indeed. Yeah, yeah look at see. There's Peppa and there's a Peppa Pig book. There's a pig there. It's bedtime for Peppa and George. Could we have a story, please? Asked Peppa. He has more. Look, see, them. look, look at that. The mama's reading the book in this story. Yes. Okay, says Mummy Pig. Here's the one about the red monkey. We always read that one, says Peppa. The red monkey takes a bath, he brushes his teeth, and he goes to sleep. Let's choose another book instead. Hmm. They're sick of the monkey. You guys sick of Peppa Pig? Hey, they want a day walk. Hmm. Peppa goes to the bookshelf. There's a book about a blue tiger. Look at that. It looks like a meow meow. <laughs> yes, it's a kind of a cat. Hmm. A book about a green spider. A book about an orange penguin. And, huh? And a brown bear, brown bear? No. Hmm. Oh, says Peppa, what's this one? The Wonderful World of Concrete, reads Mummy Pig. <gasps> I've been looking for that, says Daddy Pig. It's a book I borrowed from the library. Look at that. You want to read this one? Uh, no. Concrete mixer? This is nice. What's a library, asks Peppa. A library is a place you can go to borrow books. When you finish reading them, you take them back. So others can borrow them, says Daddy Pig. He looks at the book. I've had this for a rather long time, Daddy Pig says. You can return it tomorrow, says Mummy Pig. After Daddy reads this story, Peppa insists. You want to read this one? Daddy has a book like this too. Look, see? See? Nice. Maybe we'll read this one later. Like that. Daddy Pig begins to read The Wonderful World of Concrete. Concrete is made of sand, water, and other things. <laughs> Chapter 1. Sand. <gasps> See? Sounds of snoring fill the room. Pepper and George are fast asleep. <laughs> so is Mummy Pig. <gasps> what? Look! He made everyone fall asleep. <laughs> okay, I'll read you the boring book to night, make you fall asleep too. <laughs> the next morning, Pepper and her family head to the library. Oh, no. mm. Pepper can't believe how many books are in the shelves. Look at them all, she shouts. Shh, says Daddy Pig. You must be quiet in the library because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please, comes another shout. It's Miss Rabbit, the librarian. I guess she can't. she doesn't have to be quiet, huh? Hello, Mummy Pig, she says. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy Pig gives her the books to Miss Rabbit to scan, and the computer beeps as the books slide across the counter. Well, Why is the computer beeping? Hey. asked Pepper. Hmm. It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and kept the books for too long. <gasps> uh oh. I may have kept this book for too long, says Daddy Pig. Uh oh, look, see, Pepper Pig's like, oh no. Don't worry, Miss Rabbit. Then her computer makes a loud, long beep. Daddy Pig, she shouts, you've had this book out for 10 years. <gasps> Naughty Daddy, says Peppa. Look at that, that, that computer's mad. Beep, 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 Now that Daddy Pig's book is returned, he can borrow another one. Pepper and George want to borrow books too. Miss Rabbit shows Pepper and George to the children's section. Oh, says Peppa. There are books about princesses and animals and planets. Is this how your library looks? No? It's more fun? Mm. Danny and Susie Sheep are at the library too. 
Danny Dog is borrowing a book about soccer. Susie Sheep is borrowing one about doctors. George has chosen his book. It's about dinosaurs. See, <coughs> dinosaur, says George. <coughs> he looks pretty happy with his book. <coughs> Daddy Pig has found an exciting new book. Further adventures in the world of concrete. <gasps> Look, a new concrete book. But Daddy Pig says, Peppa, I want a fun bedtime book. The bedtime book is must make you sleepy, so I think it's pretty good. Mummy Pig pulls out a red monkey book. Not that again, says Peppa. It's boring. It's a different story, says Mummy Pig. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. I know, says Pepper. He had a bath, he brushed his teeth, and went to sleep. She no. Says. No, says Mummy Pig. He had adventures. Huh? Oh, say the children. They all gather around to see the book. Peppa wants to hear the story. We can read it at home, says Mummy Pig. But I already chose a book about a princess, says Peppa. Then she sees another book about birds. That book looks interesting too. Miss Rabbit has good news for Peppa. You can take up to three books home if you like. <gasps> Yippee, says Peppa. You just have to remember to bring them back on time, says Miss Rabbit. And that goes for you too, Daddy Pig. Peppa laughs. I'll make sure he remembers to come back to the library all the time. I love the library. Back at home, it's bedtime. Mummy Pig opens a new red monkey book. Look, see, Mummy Pig is reading the book again. Hmm? Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. He jumped in space, in a space rocket, and went to the moon. <gasps> the moon, says Pepper. What an adventure. See? Look at that crazy monkey in that's the moon. That's not all. Oh, that's not all. Mummy Pig turns a page. He had a picnic with a dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur, says George. <laughs> then the red monkey swam under the sea. He's a sea monkey. You get it? See? He's a sea a monkey. monkey. Anyways. Mummy Pig turns to the last page. Finally, he climbs the highest mountain. That was a busy day. I think Daddy Pig agrees, says Pepper. Everyone looks at Daddy Pig is fast asleep. <laughs> See? The end, whispers Mummy Pig. Sound of Daddy Pig snores fills the room. Everyone laughs. What a fun day. The end. Hmm. You want to read this book next? Okay, maybe. Maybe not.